Congratulations on your Life Vantage business journey so far. You can tell how breaking down what we do into smaller pieces means anyone can have success by following the simple steps and practicing the basic skills we're sharing. One of those basic skills is three-way calling. You don't need a background in telephone technology. It's just three people on a phone calling together. Any smartphone has a conference feature. So all you need are phone numbers for your guests and your sponsor or some other expert, a date and time for the call, and a quiet place to host it. And when we say expert, we mean someone you've connected with who has some great life vantage experience with products and opportunity. It could be your sponsor, your sponsor sponsor, another upline leader, or someone sideline. If your sponsor is also new, he or she should be able to suggest someone. There are a bunch of reasons three-way calls are effective, but the bottom line is this. You know someone who needs life vantages, products, or opportunity, or both. And that person needs to hear about them from someone who's got life vantage experience. Of course, we're working toward the day when you're the expert for your team's calls. But since we're at the beginning of your journey, we're going to teach you how to lean on some of your team's experience to build your own success. Here are some basics for successful three-way calls. Number one, schedule the call in advance. Sounds like common sense, but we know not everyone deals in common sense. (laughs) My perspective? You don't want to put your guest on the defensive by blindsiding him or her. Generally, you don't want to schedule more than a day out. In fact, sometimes it works to call just before you want to have a three-way call with someone. Number two, Set proper expectations. Make sure both your guest and your expert know a little about each other. The whole point of the call, from the sake of your guest, is to help him or her catch the vision of life vantage from someone who shares his or her perspective. Number three, be on time. This applies to both starting and ending times. If your guest has agreed to 15 minutes, make sure your expert agrees to that also. That doesn't mean you hang up mid-sentence just because 15 minutes is up, but listen for cues that will tell you how comfortable your guest is. He or she may continue the call for an extra 10 or 20 minutes just because they're really interested in the information they're getting. Now for the sample invitation. A phone invitation could go something like this. Hey Sally, glad I caught you. I have partnered with a publicly traded company who is at the forefront of nutrigenomics. I think it's something you'll find fascinating. I've got a call with one of my business partners in 10 minutes, or right now, or tomorrow at six, or whatever. And I wanna introduce him or her to you. Would you have a few minutes then for me to make an introduction? I'll get the three of us on the phone. Several options for how to do this invite can be found on page 17 of your Blueprint booklet. If you're talking with someone in person, you might say, It was great to catch up with you, Walter. I have someone I want to introduce you to. If you have 15 minutes this evening, I'd like you to talk with a business partner of mine who used to work in real estate, like you. We've recently partnered with a large public company who is at the forefront of nutrigenomics, and I think you'll find it fascinating. Could we connect at 6 p.m. this evening? Be sure to convey the urgency of wanting to talk with them. And if they have questions, let them know you're eager to have them answered on the next call. The day before the call, confirm with a text message, reminding them that you're excited to share some quick information and emphasizing that the call should only take about 15 minutes. On the day of the call, a few minutes before the scheduled time, call your sponsor or other expert and remind them who you're calling. Then conference in your guest. When your guest answers, thank them for their time. Tell them who you have on the line with you, then introduce your sponsor or expert with a couple of highly validating statements. It might go like this. Sally, thanks for setting aside some time tonight. We'll make it quick. I've got Anna Grant on the phone with me, and I thought you'd connect with her because Anna used to be a vice principal at a middle school in Springfield. She's taught me a lot about what she has done with Life Vantage and about this amazing field of nutrigenomics. You might have seen something about it on television. I'm excited for you to hear her story. Anna, this is Sally, and she's in the ninth year of teaching sixth grade at Westmore Elementary. Turn it over to your sponsor or other expert.